All right, what's up, y'all? So listen, real quick, I wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look into a skill session I did with some of my coaching clients the other day, and we're really working on how to respond to some of the toughest objections that we're getting right now, whether that be at the door or over the phone, because some of the feedback and a lot of the feedback I get from you guys here on the channel is, listen, dude, I'm making the calls, I'm knocking the doors, but I'm still getting a lot of resistance. How do I actually, Brandon, you talk about selling the value of the appointment. How do I do that? Like, what does that sound like? So I wanted you to really get a behind the scenes look into how I'm handling these conversations. So I'm gonna share with you guys just this short clip of us going back and forth with these conversations. It's just the audio, so there's no visual part of the video, but at least you can hear it, you can pause it, you can write it down, and then most importantly, you can really work on the delivery because this is what I want you guys to listen to in this short clip. Yeah, the words are important and I understand you want the script, but more importantly, I want you guys to listen to how I deliver it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. hope you get some takeaways. Let me know what question you guys have. We'll talk to you guys soon. It looks like you've been trying to sell the house now for a couple of months. Do I have that right? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess, let me just ask you, I mean, what has you guys really thinking about selling the home? Uh, yeah, this is my investment property. So uh, just want to cash out. Got just it. Okay. Coming back with the same price that I want. I see. I see. Okay. Got it. So let me just ask you this before I let you go. I mean, if there was a strategy other for sell by owners are using to get buyers to give them their price, is that something that you'd at least want to look at? Yeah, Brandon, you know, we, we don't want to really work with the agent and uh, all agents seems like saying the same thing. Perfect. You and I are completely on the same page. And so we don't owe each other anything. And certainly you're not going to do anything unless it makes sense. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So why don't we do this? I mean, there's no downside in you and I having a meeting this week, talking about a strategy that will cause your property to sell. And then you're a smart guy. You can decide if hiring me makes sense or not. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah, Brandon, but I'll tell you up front that we don't really plan on working with agent and we have a, a lot of friends <laughs> in the business. So if I work with the agent, I'm probably going to work with them. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Yeah, fair enough. And again, you sound like a very savvy guy. I guess before I let you go, if there was a strategy, and I want your honest opinion, if there was a strategy that I use to sell homes just like yours for a dollar amount, that's more than what you want now. In other words, it puts the money in your pocket, net bottom line, then more than what you want, certainly a guy like you is going to want to look at that. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. I'm sold. So I'm just going to just ask you to find your time. I mean, so anyway, oh, that's just a role play, but hopefully you got some out of that. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and all the analyticals here drives them nuts when I get into these role plays. It's like, well, how are you going to do that? Doesn't matter. It's all perception. I'm just going to go set the appointment and do my thing. Hey, Brandon, what, what about this? Hey, I'm not working with agents, but if you find me a buyer, I'll pay you 5%. I'm just not going to list with anybody. Yeah, perfect. If I was you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't list either, I guess. How long are you going to try and do that strategy before you start to consider something different? Yeah, no, look, I'm never going to work with a listing agent, but I'll pay you 5% if you have any buyers. Yeah, fair enough. Before I let you go, Felipe, and I don't care either way, if by working with me meant that you put more money in your pocket, even after paying a commission, certainly financially, you would want to look at that. Am I wrong? Well, you know, all you agents say the same. Yeah. But how are you going to do that? Well, that's exactly why I think you should invite me over to the home, because at the end of the day, you're not going to do anything unless it makes sense. Let's be honest. Am I right? Right. Yeah. So why don't we do this? Let's not agree to anything right now. I'll simply come to the house one day, share you the plan. And then you sound like a smart guy. You can decide if this plan has any value for you. Does that seem reasonable? That's reasonable. All right. Then I set the appointment, right? In, in terms of what you're talking about, the flat fee listing or whatever, all you have to do is this. I don't know where your face just went, but let me just ask you this before I let you go. I mean, if there was an advantage to you potentially working with an agent who charged more money than the flat fee brokerage, meaning you put more money in your pocket net bottom line by working with a full service agent before you made any decisions, certainly you would want to look at all your options. Am I wrong? Now, all I'm trying to do is position this to get to an appointment. I am not getting into the, all that stuff you started getting into. 
Now watch this. I might ask a different question. You know what, Kim? I respect that because a lot of sellers believe that going with a flat fee uh, listing means they put more money in their pocket. And that's probably what you think. Am I right? Uh, that, yeah, that's a lot of doing it. Yep. That's true. Now, let me ask you a question before I, before I go. I've got to jump on another call. If you knew with 100% certainty that by putting your house in the MLS with a flat fee broker meant you were going to get less money in your pocket, would you at least want to learn about why that would be? And, and be honest. Uh, maybe. You wouldn't want to know. You, you would be okay with losing money. Uh, I, Come on. Come on. Be honest. You sound like a smart guy. Like you don't want to leave money on the table, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I mean, true. If you wanted to lose money, I'd be happy to give you an offer on the property right now at a price that is way less than retail. But I get the feeling that's not what you want. Am I right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's not agree to anything right this second. Why don't we get together? There's no downside. The second you feel like I'm pressuring you to list your home with me, I'll get up. I'll shake your hand. You can kick me out of your house. We'll never talk again. You want to take me up on that? Uh, I'll consider that. All right. So, so this